We, we've talked about equities. What about bonds? Do we like adding foreign bonds to a portfolio? There are situations where foreign bonds are an appropriate thing for an investor to include in their portfolio. So the idea that foreign currencies in general add a level of diversification to a portfolio. So from the perspective of a U.S. investor, if most of my assets are in dollars, I own a piece of real estate that I live in, dollars. I work receiving income and I'm receiving that in dollars. Most of my portfolio, my stocks and bonds, are predominantly U.S. dollars. The idea for a U.S. investor to own some non-U.S. dollars or foreign currencies, in our view, makes good sense from a diversification point of view. Now, whether an investor is doing that in the form of foreign stocks or foreign bonds, they still get the benefit of the foreign currency diversification. Now, in the bond market, when we think about owning foreign bonds, it's typical for an investor to own U.S. government bonds or U.S. municipal bonds. For an investor to uh, overcome what we call the home bias, investing in the things we're most comfortable with, in this case U.S. bonds, it's often difficult. But the idea of owning government bonds of other governments, such as Canada or Australia, parts of Europe, we think is an appropriate thing to consider. By doing this, you're getting not only the currency diversification, but you're also getting diversification across many different yield curves. Different countries have different inflation policies, different interest rates, and as a result, you're getting a lot of diversification around this movement of interest rate cycles across countries, adding value to the bond portfolio. When an investor combines U.S. stocks with foreign stocks, U.S. bonds with foreign bonds, and rebalances their portfolio on a regular basis, what we found through our research looking back, and we think for good reason going forward, the total return of the portfolio would often be better with less risk than if the investor only had U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds.